You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. i just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Sons of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, bye, bye, bye. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year. And I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough as nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our riding into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable riders to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a rider's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your riding into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. To get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com.
Well, good evening, America. This is your host, Rick Robinson. and we are about 90 seconds from showtime. This is America Off the Rails, or we'll be coming up here in just about 90 seconds or so, right here on KLRNRadio.com. We have a lot to talk about tonight. We have travel bans being overturned, um, actually reinstated, and according to the Democrats, people are going to be dying in the streets if the Republican health care bill passes. While I'm not a fan of it, I don't like hyperbole either. Stay tuned. We'll be back here in about 60 seconds to officially start the show. Don't go away. Here's George Foreman with Invent Health. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same question? Here's George Foreman with Invent Health. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at Invent Help. Call Invent Help today for free information. Invent Help has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. Invent Help can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call Invent Help today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put Invent Help in your corner. Get your free inventor's information. Call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. Favorite host. Favorite, favorite host. You know this freedom is anything but free. What we have here depends on those who will fight for. Good evening, America. Again, this is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We're coming to you live every Monday through Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern right here on KLRNRadio.com. show is also available on AMFM247.com every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Available on uh, uh, sorry, Lanterns Radio Network. Available Monday through Friday at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern. And also available on Talk America Radio, the newly rebranded site we've been on now for a bit. Uh, also available Monday through Friday, and that is 6 a.m. Eastern. And, of course, our biggest flagship as of right now, other than KLRN, CRNDigitalTalk.com, where the show's available every Saturday and Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, 9, 9 Central, 7 Pacific. Uh, now, we have, well, I have something I would like to share with you tonight, but I can't quite yet because we haven't put it into paper. But I have a pretty exciting announcement that I hope we're going to be able to make later in the week. Um, however, we do have an exciting announcement for tomorrow. We have Michael Abbott Jr., the author of Entitled to Slavery, will be joining us on the Jen and Rick show tomorrow night, which directly precedes this show every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, he'll be on with us for the first half of the show talking about the book. If you haven't gotten it yet, I do encourage you to do so. It is a very compelling read. I'm actually about halfway through my second read-through of it, just because it's one of those books where you just you want to keep rereading it and see if you missed anything the first time, first time you've read it. Um, it will probably um, kind of look a little bit like my Bible, honestly, from probably by the time I'm done with it. So he'll be with us tomorrow night on Jen and Rick for the first half of the show. We don't do guests over there very often, but we are probably about to start, only because it just makes it... Most people don't want to do live radio at 11 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so I do, you know. And then we can always have them on over there. And the joys of all the other shows that I do is we can take the interviews on the, sp- the shows that they're comfortable on, edit them, and I can use them again later. Yay. All right, so anyway, uh, we do have a lot to talk about tonight. So we've t- uh, touched on a little bit of it. So the Supreme Court has done a preliminary ruling reinstating a good portion of 
President Trump's travel bans, much to the chagrin of liberals. Uh, of, according to the liberals and mainstream media, if the AHCA passes, everyone's going to die because nobody's going to have insurance. However, there's a pretty interesting thing that they're not telling you about those particular numbers. And we're going to talk about that when we get back. But we've got to get the first break out of the way. So let's get that ready to go right about now. So let's just get it, get it over with. All right. So again, this is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. We have a lot to talk about. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back here in just a little over 60 seconds. So just, just enough time to maybe go top off your drink. Come right back. We'll see you here in just a bit. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. folks welcome back one other bit of housekeeping that i just realized i did not mention we have someone coming back returning home to klr and radio.com uh, i don't think she's ever actually been affiliated with this station however she was with me for several months when i was running k98 talk and she's coming over here so we've got her back that's right miss Polita bunny aka sam Janney, will be uh, doing her debut broadcast uh this wednesday coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern, so make sure you tune in for that. Uh, we have that show, then followed by the Conservative Promotion Radio Show. I believe Jesse's POV will be kicking uh, off the hour after that, so that's 7 Eastern, 8 Eastern, then 9 Eastern. Uh, I think we're going to put up a, a right side. Uh, Dan has actually opted to put that particular show on hiatus for right now until he gets settled in, but I think we're going to put one in there anyway, only because otherwise there'll be an hour gap. And then, of course, I will be... Uh, finishing stuff up and rounding off, uh, rounding out the night at 11 Eastern on America Off the Rails. So very excited to have Sam coming back. For those of you who haven't listened to her before, I do encourage you to check her out. Um, she is an amazing lady. And uh, Jess just did confirm there will be a show on Wednesday. I just wasn't sure because I know you've had some work stuff going on. So just making sure. All right. So anyway. Lots of stuff to talk about tonight. Before we get to the main topics of the show, let, let's have a little bit of fun at Uncle Speedo's expense, shall, shall we? So, you know, Mr. Everybody should pay their fair share. Nobody needs to uh, have all this money. They get the same guy who owns three houses. Um, is now actually under investigation by the FBI for fraud. I think it's actually more to do with his wife, but still... It's just kind of funny to think about the fact that somebody that keeps telling everybody else how they should live while doing the exact opposite is now involved in a criminal investigation at the federal level. I find that rather interesting, also a little sad, and it's a, it's a bit of a commentary for this whole election cycle because how many people that were running for president in 2016 are now currently under investigation? And before anybody says anything... No, I'm not talking about Trump. Because, you know, 
technically he's not really under investigation. Let's not forget, they haven't officially announced that he was really under any type of investigation right now. Um, that has never been officially announced. Now, however, Hillary Clinton has been investigated more than once. Bernie Sanders is now being investigated. A good number of the Obama holdovers and, well, former cabinet members are being investigated. Uh, Loretta Lynch, chief among them. You know, it's just it's just funny. Because to listen to the left, you would think they were the ones that always had the moral high ground, the moral superiority, and that we were the old cranky white people who just wanted everybody else to curl up in a ball and die. But we're not the ones that are constantly spewing hate anymore. We're not the ones that it seems are constantly doing things that they shouldn't be doing anymore. Now, before anybody says anything about the fact that Trump is being looked at, don't forget, I don't technically consider President Trump a Republican. He is the epitome of a rhino. I understand he's president. I will support him when he deserves to be supported, and I will call him out when he doesn't deserve to be supported. Now, one thing that I will honestly say that I have had a change of heart on, and this is going to make some people angry, but I'm going to say it anyway, is the president's love affair with Twitter. And I will tell you why. It's becoming a, an unfiltered voice to the people, which is important right now, and I'll explain why in a minute, but that, that, that's really what it is. He has a direct pipeline to the American people. Now, before anybody starts beating me up about this, think about this for a second. How many years have we watched the Democrats using things like social media, using things like Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all of these other things, and they're basically using it to connect directly to their base, and they were kicking our butts. Mitt Romney had no clue how to use Twitter. Donald Trump may not be the most eloquent guy on Twitter, but he's on Twitter, and it gives him direct access to the people. And something else that I talked about on the Weekend Review show over on a CRN and also on the Robinson and Wright show last Friday night, another, and actually a little bit on Jen and Rick on Thursday, another hard-fought change for me was something that I had to stop and think about myself, because I remember thinking... In 2012, when Romney left Obama there and left all of these lies just sitting on the floor right there on the debate stage and decided not to engage, decided he was going to take the high road. That was the moment that Romney lost the election because everybody was looking at him and they didn't see a man that was willing to do what he needed to do to not only keep the country safe, but to stand up for himself. Because Obama was caught in several lies between the second and the third debates. You don't ask me, or you don't believe me, go ask some of Romney's own campaign people. They'll tell you that they knew they had him dead to rights. But some of the people that were higher up decided they were going to take the high road because they honestly thought that it was going to be a sure thing. So what happens? He loses. We get mad. Say, we need somebody who's willing to go in for the throat when they have to go in for the throat. We get Trump, which is basically that guy on steroids. And most of us are appalled by him. And I'm not saying necessarily that we shouldn't be appalled by him. What I'm saying is this is one of those times when it's, you know, you should really be careful what you wish for. Because we wanted somebody that would go in, smash heads, come out, and do what they needed to do. He did just that. He won by any means necessary, which is what we've said we've wanted out of a candidate for a very, very long time. Most of us, some of us are not the any means necessary type, and that's one reason why I never really was a fan of Trump. But I did like the fact that he never backs down. I still do like the fact that he never backs down. Even if it sometimes gets him in trouble, even if he occasionally paints himself into a corner, I like the fact that he keeps swinging. Maybe he's going to screw some stuff up. I don't know. It's still really early into his presidency, so I honestly don't know. But I know that for the moment, he is president. There are things that he has done that I, I've disagreed with. There are things that he's, he said that I've disagreed with. I think his idea for a federal death penalty for the death of police officers, while I agree with it sentimentally and emotionally, that's a bad idea because it's a direct violation of the Tenth Amendment. Why I... Why, while I understand 
that he and even some of the other Democratic opponents were willing to put people on the no-fly list on a no-buy list for weapons, that's a very dangerous, slippery slope. And I'm hoping that he's changed his mind on that. Because if he doesn't, then I will have to fight him on it when he decides that he's going to try to do that. And let me tell you why. And I only bring this up because I heard uh, Daniel Stafford talking about it on his show last hour. And it got me to thinking. Because I heard a point that I've made before as playing devil's advocate. Well, if you are not trusted enough to fly a plane or fly on a plane, sorry, why would you be trusted enough to buy a gun? But here's the problem. There's no due process to put anybody on the no-fly list. There's no due process to take anybody off the no-fly list. So if you start using a list like that that has very little controls and very little ability to do anything about it, then ultimately it's going to be up to the government to decide who belongs on that that list and who doesn't. And that's why... Using the no-fly list as a no-buy list is a very, 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 very bad idea. All right, so we've come up to the top, or, well, the, I almost said top. We've come up to the second break of the show, so we're going to have to take a really quick break. When we come back, we have more to talk about, so stay tuned. We're going to talk a little bit more about this travel ban and what's happened with the uh, the Supreme Court today because they have uh, made some pretty interesting decisions. Um, But we'll be right back here in just about three minutes. Stay tuned. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at r-a-h-a-r-d-i-n dot com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. All 
Alright folks, welcome back. This is America Off The Rails. I'm your host Rick Robinson. Again, we're coming to you live right now from KLRNRadio.com and we are coming up on the bottom of the hour. we got about five minutes to the next break, so let's see if we can squeeze in one of the other topics I wanted to touch on tonight. And that was, that's going to be the whole Supreme Court travel ban thing. Um, so there has been a preliminary ruling by the Supreme Court that has reinstated a vast portion of the Donald Trump travel bans, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, the Ninth Jerkit Court of Appeals gets overturned more times than, well, I was going to say something that wouldn't necessarily be radio appropriate. But let's just say, uh, yeah, let's just say they uh, they get flipped more times than a pancake. And that's a good way to put it. It doesn't get me in trouble with anybody that may or may not hear this show later. All right. Um, it's just, it's annoying because this is stuff that should have been happening all along. Now, now, I've, I've bashed the Ninth Circuit. Now it's time to turn around. Remember, I said support Trump when he deserves it. Give him a hard time when he doesn't. So here's the thing. These travel bans have been in limbo now for well over the president's first 100 days. So when the travel bans were in limbo, why didn't he start doing the permanent things that he said he was going to do to start trying to make things safer for Americans instead of waiting for the... First the district courts, then the Ninth Circuit, now the Supreme Court to decide what they were going to do. Because it doesn't make any sense to have waited this long when you said you basically only needed those bans for your first 100 days anyway because you were going to have things in place to fix it, uh, fix all the other issues before the 100 days were up. So again, this is me just trying to shoot it down the middle here because yes, he is president. I'm not going to be the guy rooting for the iceberg, but at the same time, I'm not going to call BS when I see BS. And that's my problem. He said he only needed these travel bans for 100 days to get everything else lined out. And he had 100 days even without the bans. He could have done something instead of sitting around waiting for for the courts to decide what, the, what he was going to do next. Not only that, but he did this once, then it got overturned, or then it got overturned, and then he did it again instead of starting to work on the actual problems. I have a huge, huge issue with this because it's a, it's been a waste of time and our resources because these bans were only supposed to be temporary anyway. At least if he, if he says what he means and means what he says, which in some cases for Trump still actually remains to be seen, whether he actually does mean what he says and say what he means. Because it, it changes. That I mean, that's just all there is to it. It changes. All right, so we've got just a little bit of time uh, before the next break. So give me just one second. Well, I was going to play a bit of audio from when I was on a local station here for about two or three minutes the other day. However, I cannot seem to find said local audio. Give me just one moment. Hmm. Oh, well, I give up. I'm not going to waste time trying to find it. I had it loaded, and then I didn't. I forgot that the computer crashed. So then I had to go reload my board. And that was one of the things I was going to put in here, and then I forgot. So, yay. Sucks to be me. All right, so let's go ahead and take the break just about a minute early. That way it might give me time to recoup, maybe try to find the audio while I'm on break. Uh, this is America Off the Rails. We'll be right back here in just about four minutes. Stay tuned. The gremlins are here. Okay, I got it now. I swear, this has been a really, really bad day for me for computers. I'll explain when I get back. veteran and pacific records recording artist i just reaching out to have you check out our new album battle cry songs of america's heroes an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like scott brown of the scooter brown band brian weaver rowdy johnson just an incredible mix of people this is all veterans telling our stories and our lives and we're giving 100 percent of our proceeds to the valkyrie initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society i myself have battled with post-traumatic stress for many years 
years and lost my own brother, a Marine Corps veteran, to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, buy, buy, buy. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year, and I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in many lives. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at rahardin.com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. All right, folks, welcome back. Well, unfortunately, the gremlins are still kicking my butt today. So there's there's a bit of a story here just to explain to you exactly how weird my day has gone. All right, so... Everybody knows I have a day job. I'm not going to tell you where my day job is, but Friday was password reset day for the day job because I spend most of my time in front of a computer uh, helping customers and typing up scripts and other things that they want me to do, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So yes, or Friday was password change day. So I go into work a few minutes early today because I'm like, you know what? I hate it when I have to change my password on a Friday because now I'm not entirely certain that I have the password right. So let's get into work a few minutes early. So if there's something wrong, I can call the help desk and I can get this taken care of. And yeah, so sure enough, I wasn't exactly sure what the password was. By the time I'd figured out what it was, the account was already locked. So I had to call the help desk, and of course, there were like 8 million issues all over the state today, so I was on hold for like 30 minutes. Sad thing is, a few months back, I actually helped out at our help desk, because at one point, we were running it, 
uh, before it got turned back over to the state. So I went as they were closing and worked over there for about two and a half months. So it was funny because I actually managed to speak to somebody who was the point of contact while I was over there being trained on how to do their job. Um, and so it was funny because she gave, she gave me the temporary password. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, it's on the screen where I should be able to set that up now. So no worries. I should be good from here. I mean, you know, I only did this for two and a half months with you guys. And we chuckled and she went on about her day. And I tried to put in a new password. And unbeknownst to me, the new password that I was trying to use was a version of the old password that I had already had before. And you can only recycle so many times within, you know, you have to go at least a certain amount of time before they'll let you use the same password again. So unbeknownst to me, they'd changed something else since I worked there. So since I put in a variation of the password that did not work, I then got locked back out of the account again without technically being locked out of the account again because the temporary password that I was issued when I forgot my original password was no longer valid because I'd put in the wrong password when trying to reset to a new password so it wouldn't take the old password, wouldn't take the temporary password, and wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me set up a new password. So all of that out of the now 35 minutes into my day at this point remember so then i have to call them again and then i'm back on hold for another 30 minutes so it just it, it's just funny because it's been one of those days where i have been technically tech, technologically challenged all day today so i am also for the moment temporarily um editing the michael loftus podcast the loftus party so just to show you that this has been a continuing theme today. So I get the Dropbox invitation from those folks, and they're like, hey, we're going to send you the file here. I'm like, okay, no big deal. I have a Dropbox account. Well, they sent it to an email that I don't use very often, and I hadn't ha been using the Dropbox account on that one. So I get it. I download it from. I downloaded it last night and was like, well, I'll get, I'll get it worked on tonight. Well, it took a little bit longer than I thought to get it exactly the way I wanted it because... I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this type of stuff, especially when I'm editing somebody else's work because I don't want to basically turn in something and be like, yeah, here you go. Hope you like it. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway. Um, so I get everything done. Finally get it to the point where I like it. I give them two different versions, which I usually do. Um, and so I'm in the middle of uploading them back to the SoundCloud box. And it suddenly says this account has been deleted and deactivated due to... Uh, extended inactive in extended inactivity while i'm using the damn thing <laughs> and then today I, I go to sit down and i i pull up all my stuff and my sound boards are all gone so i start reloading them and now to top it all off there was about three minutes worth of audio that i wanted to use tonight that now apparently i can't find and i know what i saved it as so i can't figure out why i can't find it so yeah that that's been my day in a nutshell computers have hated me today um, so hopefully things will improve as the week continues. But on a good note, I did not say that it was Tuesday on a Monday this evening, which I actually did last Monday. I was yelling that it was Tuesday with Monday's date and didn't realize it until the show was over. And I'm like, hmm, well, at least um, since most of the networks right now pick me up on a tape delay, at least I'll be saying the right day but the wrong date. So at least it'll be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so fun times, fun times. All right, so enough about my weird day. Um, that was, uh, we usually try to do at least one segment of Monday Motivation. That was my Monday Motivation for you because I'm, I'm hoping no matter how bad your Monday was, at least you didn't spend an hour waiting to be helped by a help desk that you used to work for because that was really, really fun. All right, so anyway, uh, lots of other things to talk about tonight. Um, so, you know, there's an interesting story that has come out and then we'll get on to the Dying in the Streets part of the show there's an interesting article that's come out about the whole fight for 15 in seattle and it's interesting because the study is actually starting to bear out what most of us have said about this crazy idea about minimum wage being jacked up to the point where it's 15 dollars an hour they've actually got enough data now where they are showing that the people that this wage increase was supposed to help have actually lost $125 a month because of the unintended consequences that always happen when you force an employer to raise minimum wage. Now, an even more interesting thing on this is I noticed that this was actually posted on a, fa on a Facebook page of my former liberal co-host, the younger one, 
Mr. Bryce Robbins, who is now off in, in, at college and also a member of his uh, public school board. So therefore, because he is technically a politician now, he can't really do a radio show, at least not one every every week. He is actually planning on being a guest here again within a couple of weeks. But the interesting thing was to listen to to read what he posted and realize how much his his position has changed now that he's out of high school and actually in college and having to actually be an adult because his whole position on this had changed because I remember the first time this topic came up was only a few weeks after he started doing Finding Common Ground with me and he kept explaining why he thought you know, maybe not necessarily $15 an hour, but he was even kind of okay with that. And when I told him that I wasn't, needless to say, it, the conversation didn't go well. But let me explain how this works. Because here's the thing. There are ways you could do this without making it a mandate. Because that's what we're talking about. If You, got, you guys have seen what mandates have done to our healthcare system. But we're talking about mandatorily raising minimum wages. That is yet again another mandate. You've seen again what mandates have done to our health care. What do you think it's going to do to our economy? Let, let me, for those of you that may not remember this, way, way, way back in the day, minimum wage was four twenty-five. Some of you are like, wow, min minimum wage when I first started working was like $2 an hour. I don't want to hear it. I'm not quite that old yet. Now, way, way, way back in the day, minimum wage was basically four twenty-five. It it did a couple of stair steps to get to where it is now. The first one was from four twenty-five to four seventy-five. So overnight, because I know because I was actually uh, working at a McDonald's by then, um, overnight we got the orders to raise our prices on everything by a dime. So anybody that was working at McDonald's was that was making minimum wage, they got a 50 cent raise. Those of us that weren't making minimum wage, because at that point I was already uh, part of the management team, even though it was I was still hourly, I was a shift leader. So I wasn't making minimum wage. So all of a sudden, everybody but me got a 50 cent per hour raise. And then all of our prices on everything on our menu went up by 10 cents. Everything at the local grocery store went up by anywhere from a nickel to 10 cents. This was on a 50 cent raise. A couple years later, it went up to, I think it was 525. Now we're at like 725, 750. I don't, it's been forever since I made minimum wage, so I honestly don't remember what it is. But I know, I mean, literally, I know it's not much. But the problem is, there are ways to do this and make it work. But we can't keep using the, the stick approach. There's a carrot approach that will work. But I need to take another break. So we've got to get that out of the way real quick. We'll be back here in just about two minutes. And I'll talk to you about a way that we could fix this mess if anybody would bother to pay attention. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. And we will be right back here in just about two minutes. Hey, this is John Preston, Marine Combat Veteran and Pacific Records Recording Artist. i just reaching out to have you check out our new album, Battle Cry, Sons of America's Heroes, an album featuring phenomenal other combat veteran artists like Scott Brown of the Scooter Brown Band, Brian Weaver, Rowdy Johnson, just an incredible mix of people. This is all veterans telling our stories and our lives, and we're giving 100% of our proceeds to the Valkyrie Initiative to help veterans and first responders integrate back into society. I, myself, I've battled with post-traumatic stress for many years and lost my own brother and Marine Corps veteran to suicide. I ask that you step with us and make this happen. We are in pre-order right now and release on March 17th. Go to iTunes, go to Amazon, bye, bye, bye. We plan on making the charts and making it at a very high level, and your support right now makes a difference. This is the release of my new song, Superman Falls, which is actually about the loss of my own brother, which happened last year, and I would love for everyone to check it out, to listen, and hopefully it'll make a difference in all writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. 
At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from the critique of the short story through to line edits on full-length novels. We also offer assistance on generating writer's bios for your websites. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you in your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. All right, folks, welcome back. So so let, let's talk about a way that we could fix this mess without it being a government mandate. It's one of those, it, it, it's kind of a free market solution. I know, big surprise. Conservative guy, I want to talk about free market solutions. So, well, I say it, it, it's still kind of a, a government thing, but it's more of a carrot approach as opposed to a stick approach. So here's the thing, because everybody talks about Costco, and now Costco is a good business model because the CEO makes a decent amount of money for the work that they do, but they pass a lot of the other money that they could be paying themselves, like Walmart, uh, back to their employees. They have, uh, I think the lowest paid person that I remember when I read an article a couple years ago at a Costco was like $14 an hour. Because the CEO only makes, I believe, it's like $225,000 a year, as opposed to the millions of dollars that the guy that's running Walmart makes. But there's a way to make it, because, see, that, 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 in my opinion, is somebody that's figured it out. Because that's how this stuff used to work. It wasn't about hoarding as much money as you could. It was about making sure that your, your company was run well, your people were, were well taken care of. They don't do any of that anymore, but you can't make the government make them do it either because all that does is make them resent the government, which then makes them try to find a way to stick it to the government. So let's see if we could use a stick approach rather than a carrot approach, and let me explain. So we know for a fact that there are several companies that hire mostly minimum wage people. So what if we put something in place that companies that hire people and pay them X amount above minimum wage receive a tax cut. And then companies that hire X amount of people even further above that particular point receive an even better tax cut because see that see that's that's the thing that nobody really seems to understand. This was this was the positive side to the crazy crazy tax rates we had all the way through the 70s. Yes, it was killing the economy in a lot of ways because people were still paying up to 90% of their, their income in taxes, depending on the bracket that they were in. But the business taxes were even crazier. So what happened? People were giving their money away because if they kept it, they had to pay taxes on it. So they were paying people more, which in the long run still didn't really help anybody because they were being taxed more. So we have this great idea of, well, let's lower the tax rates and then people will still pay their people well and then they'll get to keep more of their money and it'll go back into the economy, except we forgot that people are kind of dicks. Sorry, I'm just going to call it the way I see it. We really are. At the end of the day, we are. And I'll explain another reason why I think that here in just a minute. But so we lower the tax codes quite a bit. We changed a lot of it with Reagan. Then instead of making sure people still got X amount of dollars because they weren't having to give it away now to keep from being taxed, they started keeping it. They started paying themselves more money. And that's a problem. But again, we can't really make the government make people pay people better because ultimately all it really does is hurt everyone else. So how do you fix it? So again... We talk about positives instead of negatives. If you pay X number of your employees X amount above minimum wage, you will get a tax break. If you pay X amount of your employees above minimum wage, above and beyond to this level, then you will also get X amount of a tax break. It's an easy way to fix a problem. 
without continuing to make it the responsibility of the federal government. Because it isn't the responsibility of the federal government. It's the responsibility of the folks that are paying you. But the problem with a minimum wage at all is a minimum wage tells them what they have to pay you. There used to be an idea of you paid somebody what the job was worth. Now you basically just start out by paying anybody minimum wage. And if they don't like it, they can go find a job somewhere else. All right. So we've got one last break to get out of the way. And then we will finish up with the whole healthcare thing. Because guess what? They took the mandates out. Now the mandates are coming back in. But we'll explain why when we come back. Because, you know, there's all of these Democrats and journalists screaming about how people were going to die in the streets with the HCA. But we'll talk about that in about three minutes. Stay tuned. The following message contains a special offer for listeners of this station. Are you a man over 40? Are you constantly looking for the nearest bathroom? Do you wake up multiple times a night to use the bathroom? Right now, Perfect Prostate is sending out free bottles of their groundbreaking new formula to listeners of this station. Perfect Prostate formula was developed by medical doctor Mitchell Fleischer, and its ingredients have been clinically studied to reduce your frequent nighttime bathroom visits and promote healthy urine flow. Right now, preferred customers get their first bottle of Perfect Prostate absolutely free. There's nothing to lose. Perfect Prostate is guaranteed to reduce that constant urge to use the bathroom, especially at night, and promote healthy urine flow. Don't wait. Call now for your free bottle. Just pay shipping and processing. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Supplies are limited. One free bottle per household. Call now. Dial 1-800-675-0251. That's 1-800-675-0251. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps stand ready to defend the American way of life. The few, the proud, the Marines. Hey folks, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Dr. Richard Harden. We are on the same mission, which is Waking Up America. We just have different paths. So stay tuned for some information on how you can keep up with Richard and all his work. Visit Richard's website at raharden.com. That's the World Wide Web at r-a-h-a-r-d-i-n dot com. At his website, you can see a summary of the six books he has written, where purchases may be made. He also has a link to 18 videos on YouTube and several blogs about Christian beliefs. If you prefer, visit amazon.com backslash Kindle and type in Richard Harden to see and purchase his books. All right, folks, well, we are just about out of time, so I want to just give you just a second. If you like uh, what we're doing here, you have a chance to follow along. It's pretty simple. You can actually either go to klrnradio.com. Um, you can see in our shows page. Click on any of the shows there that you'd like. Uh, you'll notice a link on the bottom of the page that actually gives you a Google invite anytime a show is going to go live or is scheduled to go live. That way you always get an update in your email box. You can also find us on Spreaker by searching klrnradio.com. Um, there is a follow button there. If you click on that button, whatever email address you're signed up for, will get alerts anytime a show drops or goes live onto this particular speaker account. 
Um, now, before we get out of here, I want to also remind you that we were going to talk a little bit about the uh, the Republican sphere of the AHCA. Again, I'm not a fan. I'm really not because it, it, we're basically just taking a Band-Aid, slapping it on Obamacare, changing its name. So we're taking the albatross that is the ACA and squarely putting it around Republicans' necks. But in the interest of fairness, the media for the last several days has been talking about the number of people that will be removed from insurance if the AHCA passes. Now, what they're not telling you is based on the information that we have, those people would be removed from insurance because those would be, would be people that would no longer actively participate because they wouldn't be forced to because of the mandate. Oh, my bad. So it, I, I spoke wrong, so I'm getting corrected by the site designer. The button adds the show to your calendar. It doesn't email you. I think I may. I, so no, it's Spreaker that emails you if you if you click follow over there. But the button adds something to your calendar. Anyway, I think I may or may not have said that wrong. But we are just about out of time anyway. Um. So you know, at this point, I just want to remind you that anybody who's reading the stuff coming from the mainstream media right now that's talking about, you know, everybody's gonna die if the, if if. Obamacare isn't kept. First problem is if we don't do something, then it's going to explode. My, that's my biggest thing is I think we should let it explode before we figure out what we're going to do, because that's what has me the most mad. They told us for eight years, give us the house. We'll fix this mess. Give us the Senate because that wasn't enough and we'll fix this mess. Well, we're trying. See, we're passing it. We're passing it. We're passing it. We're passing it. Obama's not signing it. So give us the White House. We'll fix it. Now you've got all three, and you're not fixing it. Fix it. Because if you don't, we will. And actually, I'll be talking to you about one way that you could fix it on your own here pretty quickly. That's part of that announcement that I really, really want to make, but I can't because we haven't actually put ink on paper yet. But we have an announcement coming soon that may or may not be another way that you can kind of uh, combat this Obamacare about to be Trump care madness because, you know, Congress isn't actually fixing anything. Why would they do that? Because if, see, that's the thing about politics that nobody really ever notices. If they really spent their time fixing the stuff that was broken, they would eventually put themselves out of a job. And they don't want that to happen. All right, so if you like the show, again, you can uh, follow along. Easiest way to do that is uh, through Twitter. Uh, Twitter's always on. Phone's always in my pocket. You can do that at AOTR underscore host. If you are old school, you can shoot me an email at rick at klrnradio.com. And uh, other than that, we are just about out of time for the night. Again, I want to remind folks, make sure you tune in for Jen and Rick tomorrow night. We'll be live at 10 Eastern right before this particular show. And we have Michael Abbott Jr., the author of Entitled to Slavery, who will be joining us for the first half of the show. So make sure you tune in for that. And then, of course, the last half will be full of uh, Jen and I's usual shenanigans. Uh, But we are officially out for the night, folks. I want to, again, take a moment just to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in. Whether you're listening live, Memorex, podcast, however you choose to listen, it just means the world to me that you do take the time to listen, especially since we know there are literally thousands and thousands of choices available for you today. And just want to again say good night. And until I see you, God bless.